cousin, it's Grace, and today we're going to be reading The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit. When you hear the sound of the roadrunner like this, turn the page. One fine day, the desert was full of springtime magic. Seeds sprouting, eggs hatched, cactus buds bloomed. Ah, said the tortoise, coming out of her burrow. I feel good. I feel fast. Jackrabbit turned one of his huge ears in her direction. Silly tortoise, he laughed. You dragged the heavy shell wherever you go. As for me, I'm free, free, free. Zing! Jackrabbit leaped left. Zang! Jackrabbit sprang right. I'm the fastest runner in the desert, he bragged. Tortoise looked patiently up at him with her old, old eyes. Let's race, she said. Now the other desert animals gathered around. I'm sure to win, said Jackrabbit. Prove it, said Tortoise. So they agreed to race. I'll mark the course, squawked Roadrunner, and off he ran, over the rocky hills across the dusty flat place, under the mesquite trees to the watering hole. I'll draw the start line, hissed Rattlesnake, and she slithered across the sand. Tortoise and Jackrabbit took their places side by side. I'll watch from above, called Buzzard, high in the sky, while Eagle floated silent as a cloud. Eyeing Jackrabbit hungrily, Coyote volunteered to start the race. One, two, three, ow! Jackrabbit bolted away. Long, low, leap, ho! He sang, and over the rocky hill he soared in less than no time. Tortoise moved her scaly toes up the slope. Scritch, scratch, limp, thump, she went. Scorpion peeked out from beneath a big rock. Tortoise inched past a blooming prickly pear cactus, and she trudged around a giant saguaro. High up its trunk, inside a dark hole, Elf Owl opened one sleepy eye. Tortoise rustled through desert dandelions and golden poppies, purple sand verbena and creamy butterfly lilies. Although she loved flowers, she did not stop. Don't step on us, cried the ants, scattering. I won't sighed the tortoise in her dry little voice as she lumped and bumped along. Meanwhile, Jackrabbit came to the dusty flat place. Long, low, leap, ho, he said, and skipped across. By now, he'd left tortoise far behind. Under the mesquite tree, he saw a patch of tender, sweet, delicious grass, and he stopped to nibble it. By the time he had eaten his fill, he felt so drowsy that he lay down in the shade and fell fast asleep. Tortoise plopped down the hill, scritch, scratch, limp, thump. She was tired and hot, but Tarantula waved his eight furry arms to cheer her onward. At least she, too, came to the dusty, flat place. Help! A terrible, fast monster with round, black, rubber feet. It tried to crush her flat. There was a roar and a smell of burning oil and a cloud of dust. When the dust scattered, Tortoise crept out of her shell. Phew, she said, and she continued slowly and steadily on her way. 
She passed Jackrabbit, still snoozing under the mesquite tree. Suddenly, he woke up. He saw all the other animals gathered at the watering hole. The quails had even brought their children, like little brown eggs on legs. And Tortoise had almost reached the finish line. Jackrabbit flew past light-footed deer, somersaulted over stinky skunk, left Gila Monster in the dust, and never even noticed shy kangaroo rat. He hightailed it faster than ever, past hairy pig-like javelina, and then, whoops, he crashed right into sly coyote and skedabbled, but long, low leap, ho, no! Tortoise scritch scratched across the line first. The desert animals cheered. Thank you, my friends, said the tortoise. Havelina handed the winner a beautiful spring bouquet. And slowly, happily, tortoise ate it. The end.